sea breeze this weekend kept it cooler along the coast, but it was oppressive inland, hot and humid. And if you were sitting through a lengthy graduation ceremony, you certainly felt it. WBZ's Paul Burton did just that. Beating the heat in Boston is not just on the Celtics' minds, but on residents as well. On Sunday, with temperatures rising, families took to splash parks to stay cool. Cooling stations were open all throughout the city. This one in Grove Hall was offering music and relief for residents if needed. Graduations were also taking place this weekend all over, including Stonehill College in Easton. Let's go Skyhawks! 2022! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Stay hydrated. Just as important as cap and gown were portable fans, umbrellas, and multiple water stations. Kemuel Gomes Navarrete, class But not even extremely hot temperatures could wipe the smiles off these graduates. It means everything to us, honestly. Um, we're just happy to be here. You know, we've had a crazy four years, and, you know, we're here. And this is, like, honestly, it's a surreal uh, day. You know, it's hot, but we're getting through it, and we can't wait for, you know, what comes next. What are you guys doing to, do to deal with this heat? Lots of water. Maybe fanning ourselves with the program, like everything to kind of keep cool down. To help deal with this oppressive heat, Stonehill actually opened up all of their air conditioned buildings so families can watch virtually and still be part of the ceremony. This 380 acre leafy refuge. In two areas, we put uh, virtual so you can watch it online. Um, also, we have water stations all over, yeah. all over campus today. All our buildings are open that are air conditioned so people can uh, get a little break from the heat. And families took to the shade as they wish their sons and daughters the very best and congratulations. In Easton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.